Hey girl, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck and today we're going with a little ponytail action. So this one comes courtesy of AF Sister Wig and just look at the hairline. You guys see how flawless this is? Minimal work, it came literally like this straight out of the box. This is a minimal work needed. Cut the lace, bond it down and you're good to go. This lace is absolutely beautiful. It's pre-plugged to perfection. The hair is high quality and you guys already can know that it's like just standard when it comes to AF Sister Wig. I did a little ponytail for you guys because this one does have a new technology included. You guys know the adjustable strap in the back is now made in the inside of the wig instead of being on the outside and it's just these really seamless like clear straps that are super thin and seamless so the back is literally so fire and so seamless and of course it comes with the baby hair in the back as well so you'll see that in the video but without further ado let's go ahead and jump right into the video okay ladies jumping right into it this is the wig straight out of the box we are working with a 360 lace wig she's absolutely bomb you guys already seen in the intro i'm gonna start off by cutting off the back half of the lace because this is a 360 lace wig it does have the lace and the baby hair in the back so you want to be sure to remove all the excess lace before you put the wig on and this is pretty much what it should look like when you remove that excess lace this means that you can bond her down in the back you can do high ponytail it has that baby hair in the back as I mentioned it also comes with three combs inside of the wig as well as adjustable strap this is a new technology here it's like a clear um, like a clear strap is how you want to um, describe it and as you guys can see it's very invisible and it's inside of the cap so it's not this thick adjustable strap like normal here is a close-up of what it looks like I love this new technology this is the very first time I've ever tried something like this and when you pull it as you guys can see it'll make it tighter and hug the back of your neck it feels so much more natural and so much more thin back there so it's not bulky at the nape this is gonna make for an even better and even more flawless high ponytail situation you guys know I don't do high ponytails with my wigs but today I'm gonna show you a little Little bit of how I do mine here I am showing you how I adjust it and kind of like pull it taut I like mine very tight because the nape of my neck is pretty pretty narrow I would say and this is what it looks like once you kind of pull it and adjust it how you want and it's not too fragile so you you know of course you don't want to tug on it and damage it but it's you know you can pull on it and you know just don't be afraid to pull on it you can pull on it and make it super tight and it's going to be sturdy enough to do so here I'm showing you a little bit of what the wig looks like on especially that 360 effect in the back with the baby hair and this is the start of the show the hairline this is absolutely beautiful they pre-plugged this one like nobody's business you literally don't have to do anything at all for prep i'm just gonna go ahead and buff in a foundation that is my shade into my wig cap i love the hd wig caps but they just don't come in my shade quite yet and so i'm giving you a close-up here of what the hairline looks like again no work needed you don't need to bleach knots um, you don't need to pluck out the hairline or anything like that all of that is done for you and this is what the wig will look like as a center part we are doing a half up half down as i did mention but i am going to give you a little bit of style to begin with here i am just pulling the hair up i was so geeked about how beautiful um this wig is and how like snug it fits that of course i wanted to put it into a ponytail off the bat but here I am just cutting off the excess lace. And this one did come a little bit forward in the front. I wouldn't say it was a widow's, widow's peak, but what I will say is that it was a little bit too forward for my forehead. But if you have a different forehead for me, you probably would need that piece. But just remember, whenever you get your wigs, you cut your lace to kind of mimic your own natural hairline. And so that would have brought it too much forward for my personal hairline or my head. And so I just cut a little bit and it was just a few strands. It wasn't too much. But just remember, like if you have a widow's peak, cut your lace to match your widow's peak. If you don't or if you have, you know, any type of hairline that you have, make sure that your lace is custom when you cut it to fit what you got going on. I did go ahead and slick down my sideburns with my edge control from bdagbeauty.com. And now I'm just going to go ahead and proceed to bond the wig down. I am using that E 
Eben product that we get off of Amazon um, in the black one. And I'm just adding a fairly generous amount, um, putting the lace on top and just removing any excess product with a um, towel that I had handy. Now I'm going to add my wig band on top. I really want this lace to melt. You can blow dry it on a cool setting. As you see, whenever you apply the wig back on top, it wasn't bulky. It didn't slide. It didn't lift. So this one fits glueless for sure. And which is an amazing thing, but we really want it to melt, especially because we are doing a ponytail. So I did go ahead and dry it, blow dry it because I knew I didn't have a lot of work to do today. And look how gorgeous that looks. That looks so realistic. And we haven't even added any powder. The lace is HD Swiss lace and it just melts into my skin like butter. So here I am dissectioning out a C curved part. We are going to be doing like a half up, half down with a little bang in the front, but you can definitely wear this like bone straight down if you would like. I would like to get into doing more styles on this channel because I am just more of a simple like bust down middle part. You know, I really don't experiment with the styles, but like you guys know, like when award shows come up and the Met Gala and stuff like that, I think it's really fun when, you know, you can go in and take like a, a celebrity's look and kind of recreate it let me know if you guys would like to see stuff like that because i do love seeing stuff like that it's just that i don't know i just never really really got into it but lately i've been into again just stepping outside of the box and just trying different styles and getting inspo from the world wide web and internet and twitter and all of that but as i talk to you guys i'm just making sure everything looks flawless i did the dynamic duo around the parting which is my wax stick paired with the electric hot comb the hot comb i like to do on a really high heat setting like 500 degrees and i just go in and just make sure i get it as soaked out and as pressed out as possible and then from there i start to form the baby hair i did do chunky sideburns as well as a chunky little um i was about to call it a bang a chunky little little piece of baby hair right here of course it's not for everybody but because this one was plugged so well I felt like I could get away with it and it looks beautiful especially because we are doing a ponytail today so as we go ahead and form the baby hair I do want to let you know the AF sister wig is one of my favorite companies to work with as far as the cap goes I believe this one is a 13 by 4 if I did not mention and again the technology of this lace is so much better than others typically when I get a 3 60 lace wig it never fits how like like glue is how you would want it to fit and this one definitely fits my head like a glove now we're going to just go in with a little bit of a foundation powder in my own foundation shade and i'm just going to go ahead and buff that along the hairline this is going to just make the hairline melt even more because it's giving the hairline a perfect um match to my own skin tone i always say this but a liquid does a little bit more flawless but you can run the risk of it being a little bit more yellow or orange you never want a yellow or orange like you never want an orange tone like this can be considered yellow but you never want it to be super orange because it just gives brassy i'm definitely feeling myself after i put that concealer into the parting and again you can stop here and just wear it down i feel like this gives a natural feel it's not too big and bulky it's very 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 perfect for just every day flawless classic timeless holidays pictures this is a look that no matter what's going on if you grab a photo of yourself in something like this 10 20 30 years from now it'll still be relevant and just timeless but look how well i soaked the hair out look how beautiful the hairline they provided was i'm completely grateful for this wig it's absolutely gorgeous but we are going to be styling i don't know why but i like to wear my hair just like side part or center part in like one style because I just like to enjoy the natural textures or even just like it's straight or curly. I never want to do ponytails or anything like that. But again, I got to try to do this more often because this was fire. I just use an ouchless hair tie to tie up the hair. Now, this is something that I honestly need to work on a lot more, which is getting a really tight, high ponytail. Now that I review the footage, I definitely could have done better at making it a little bit more tight and a little bit more high up to really 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 give the effect but again this is just not my avenue um when it comes to ponytails and stuff like that it's just something that i have to work on and practice more and more so give me some tips on how to get the ponytail to be um even more um how do you say it? like more flawless and more like um you know just flawless in the back but here i am showing you the back i wait to the last minute to put the comb in because sometimes it does bother me like when i'm pulling too much but this is a finished result and it's absolutely beautiful you can see a link to this wig in the description box okay ladies we are done with the look i'm gonna go ahead and just put two big curls 
in this part while we talk. But this one here is a beautiful lace front wig from AF Sister Wig. You guys see it really is gorgeous. The hairline, the lace, all of it is absolutely flawless. They did come up with this new innovative situation with the um, elastic in the back. You guys know there is always a strap in the back of your wigs. They have this new technology where it's more of like a, it's on, instead of it being on the on the outside it's on the inside and it's like seamless with the clear and that's going to make it super simple and easy for you to be able to um like cinch up the wig without it showing or being thick so back here now it's very thin um not thin but just a lot more seamless and then it still has that comb back there and then there's baby hair around just to make it look a lot more natural this is the packaging and i always show you the bow after i've already ripped it off and silly me as many times as i've had this package i'm just realizing i always take the bow off but you don't have to because it slides without removing it so this is probably the first time you guys have actually seen the bow on but they did give me some hd wig caps um baby hair brush mini pack of bobby pins you guys know these are my favorite then just a little cute hair pin I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go because it's time for me to put the kids into bed. But I just wanted to say uh, my little two cents about the wig. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely flawless. This is one that is quality. This is one that if you want to impress, you want to have like a bomb hairline, no work or customization needed. This is the one to have. I have been in and out of the camera all day trying to get this video filmed so forgive me if i am a little bit discombobulated in the video nonetheless the proof is in the pudding that this one is absolutely gorgeous be sure to check it out direct link in the description box i feel so different with a ponytail but thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches